Hello everyone, your OS Reviews. You're watching our hands-on review of the Makibs HR3. This is one of the least expensive full-color fitness trackers on the market, and it retails for under $18, so it's very cost-effective. Also offers heart rate tracking, sleep tracking, uh, notifications, as well as pedometer for steps, things like that. And this is a manufacturer that has come out with quite a few low-cost fitness trackers in the past few months. And uh, as the name suggests, this is the third generation model and it competes with the iWanFit uh, i6HRC that we also reviewed quite recently, as well as uh, Xiaomi's Amazfit, as well as the Band series. But obviously this is even cheaper considering it has a color display. But the biggest question here is whether the performance uh, is good enough to match that low price point and be considered as impressive. So in the packaging, there's not a lot going on. In fact, we have basically only the tracker itself. And the reason is, if we look very closely, you can actually remove one part of the band to access a USB port for plugging into a power socket to juice it up. So it doesn't use micro USB or a proprietary magnetic charger for the battery. There's also a screen protector here. Let's try peeling this back and we can see that there is a color IPS LCD display on the front. It's made out of plastic here and there's also a small contact point that I can tap on to switch between the various modes uh, and different screens. Here we have a Xiaomi Amazfit BIP, which is more of a smartwatch, but you can see that thickness is not that far off. It's a little bit thicker, but uh, also lightweight enough because it's made primarily out of plastic and rubber so that it feels comfortable when you're wearing it in the day to day. Otherwise, on the back, there's the optical heart rate sensor here. It does have a motion sensor, of course, so you can use gestures like flicking your wrist for the screen to automatically come to life. And overall, it's a pretty comfortable material on the band, one size fit all, with a aluminum strap on the back as well, with the company's logo embedded onto it. So a quick look at the interface here, we have access to time and date information along with a heart rate uh, indication right from the home page. And that's one of the selling points of the HRC, continuous always on heart rate tracking. So you can wear it and simply by tapping on it, it's gonna immediately tell you what your heart rate is. The downside is it's gonna eat up battery a little bit faster since essentially it's gonna be tracking your heart rate most of the time because whenever you tap on the key to wake the screen on, it already needs to tell you what your heart rate is. So with the optical sensor always working, you can expect that the battery life is not gonna be quite as strong as on the Xiaomi Mi Band series, for instance. Uh, you'll need to charge this up around five to six days of use, so roughly a week, which isn't bad. But the downside is again, you do need to remove the strap physically to access the USB port here, which can be a little bit of a tedious process because this is actually a very tight connection and uh, it takes a bit of effort and force to pry it off and then put it back on. The flip side is you can actually potentially change out these straps entirely. So you can change the color or you can swap it out if this wears out. So that is one upside is that you can customize it and replace the bands a bit more easily. So anyways, you can tap on it once to take a look at steps and this is the animation. Once more to convert it into distance walked, calories burned, uh, this is a separate heart rate page, although I'm not really sure why it's here, considering you can also see it on the home screen. Um, you also have sleep tracking. There's also a stopwatch, and then tap on it once to begin the stop stopwatch, and then tap on it again to pause it, long hold to exit out of this interface. So it's nice that you have all these features directly on the tracker, which is something that we didn't see on some older fitness trackers on the market. I also like the fact that even after the screen goes to sleep, when you wake it again, it basically stays on the page that you were at previously. This wasn't something that you got in in many of the past fitness trackers we've seen. So if you wanted to cycle back into the next feature and it timed out, you have to tap on the screen you know, five to six times to go into the next page. I can also change the background of the display to directly on the tracker, which is something I haven't seen before ever. So right now you notice that the background is actually in full color. It shows off this kind of moon as well as a planet. It's a little bit dim here if we try and turn some of these lights off here. You can see it a little bit better, but you can also tap on it once to change it into this kind of red background, and then once again to change it into a completely black background. Now, I previously said that the display is pretty bright. Uh, with that being said, it's definitely not the most punchy display that I've seen. Um, it's not quite as uh, you know, OLED-ish, uh, you know, as some of its competitors are on the market. Colors are pretty good, but there is a bit of a gap between the plastic as well as the display if you look very closely. So that means if you're outdoors and you have a bit more of sunlight and glare, it can be a slightly more difficult to, to see it. Now, one of the pages here that's kind of cool is called Dial. So you can actually change the watch face or the watch dial by uh, long pressing, and there are a few different uh, selections that they give you. So this first one here tells you steps on the bottom, it tells you the time, as well as the continuous heart rate there, along with the battery status. Tap on it once more for the simplified 
visualization, which we have right now. Tap on it once more to go into this analog style watch, which I think is pretty elegant. And you still have the continuous heart rate uh, number on the very bottom here, which is actually very useful. Tap on it once more to go back into the first option. So you have three to choose from. So the app that it's uh, using is pretty generic. It's simply called WearFit 2.0. In fact, it's uh, the same app that we used before on past fitness trackers. You tap on it once and you can simply bind your tracker by turning on Bluetooth. And once you're paired, the interface is actually pretty simple and straightforward. So it simply tells you number of steps you've walked today. It also tells you your daily goal. So when you've reached 100%, this bar will go all the way across to display. You can change this uh, goal in terms of 10,000 steps, 20,000 steps, so on and so forth in the settings. You can also see hours that you slept, your heart rate data as well, as well as some other management and fatigue level estimations which are done through the heart rate. So if your heart rate is at a certain amount, it will estimate if you're tired or not. Not the most accurate thing in the world, but it is there. Um, you can also tap on plus here if you wanted to um, find the bracelet and that triggers the uh, tracker to actually vibrate. So if I tap on this once more, the whole thing is actually shaking right now. You can see that the continuous heart rate tracking is indeed working, it's always on. Despite being a generic app, I'm actually quite impressed to see how WearFit 2.0 has evolved through the past year and a half. Originally, it was a little bit too simple, and I said it didn't give you too much uh, additional information like whether these statistics and vitals were actually healthy or not, but now it actually does. So if you tap on heart rate, for instance, it says 75 and it's actually normal. So it will actually tell you based on your own uh, information in terms of uh, heart rate, whether it's too high, it's too low, so on and so forth, and it will record it in a log for you to check out. In terms of the actual accuracy of the steps and movement, unfortunately, it's not one of the strengths of the HR3. Uh, I found that it sometimes overestimated my steps considerably, so if you accidentally shake your wrist, it will sometimes put that up as you know, 5 or 10 steps uh, when in reality you haven't really moved. Otherwise, uh, sleep tracking does work pretty well. It's automatic. Basically, you just lie on a bed, fall asleep. It detects that motion has been dormant for a while and it thinks that you've fallen asleep. And depending on how often you move, it's going to tell you light versus deep sleep data as well. In terms of management, you can also take a look at how much battery life is remaining on the band, and you can also do things like sedentary reminder. So basically, if you've been sitting down for too long, um, it will vibrate to tell you to get up and move. So that's the HR3 smart wristband, and if you're on a budget, this is actually not a bad choice, especially because it has a unique continuous always-on heart rate tracking right from the main boot screen. Uh, in addition, it also has a pretty attractive overall user interface, it's comfortable, it's lightweight, and the app, which is uh, again a standard app, has actually gone significantly better uh, in terms of presenting your data now and actually telling you a bit more about you know what does 75 beats per minute or 90 beats per minute actually mean. Is it good? Is it bad? It also presents presents that in an easy to read way. It's not the most complex app in the world, but I think for something like this, which is very low cost, it's quite good. It's also water resistant, so you can wear it when you are washing your hands, taking a shower, and it, it will still survive. Downsides would be the fact that these sensors, I found, haven't you know, been the most accurate. Sometimes the optical as well as the accelerometer uh, can be a little bit oversensitive uh, in terms of their estimates. Also, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that you have to pull out one side of the band to recharge it every single week. Uh, with that being said, the overall design and performance as well as the software mainly I have been impressed by, especially for under $20. So you can check out more details about this in our official written article, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the HR3 Smart fitness wristband.